I'm continuing my message on the spell breaker, the spell breaker. I want to give God thanks for the many people who have gone online and have been listening to that message. And it's amazing how many people have gone and pick, picked up that message already online. And I want to just thank God that we can continue to enlighten you, enlighten you. Because you don't want to live under a curse. In fact, we are very cognizant of the fact that curses do exist. Curses exist. And one of the principal reasons for Jesus' coming is that Jesus has come to break the curse. Break the curse. In the book of Galatians chapter 3, we read about Jesus breaking the curse. Cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. And Jesus came to break the curse so that the blessings of Abraham will come upon us. This is the life that God wants us to live. God wants us to live the freedom life. The freedom life. The moment Jesus Christ came out of fasting, according to Acts, the book of Luke chapter 4 and verse 18, Jesus came out of fasting. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Yes, Jesus came to bring transformation. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted and preach deliverance to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind. The Lord has come to set at liberty them that are bruised. Oh yes, he has come so that you and I can experience total emancipation from any curse. So when the likes of these things that we have just read begin to manifest on our lives or to somehow be in our home with our loved ones, children, parents, relatives, we know that the curse wants to manifest itself. And we have been given the authority to break the curse. When the Lord saved us, according to Colossians Chapter 1 and verse 13. He translated us from the kingdom of darkness. He translated us from the kingdom of darkness as unto the kingdom of his dear sons. You, you know that all of us here don't appreciate darkness. Just let electricity go alone. And you can aim and immediately sense the atmosphere changes that people oh my god you mean to say electricity is gone listen to me i tell you god knows the importance of light to us in so much that the psalmist says in psalm 27 that the lord is my light the lord knows the important people who have come to light knows the importance of light. The Lord is my light and he is my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? God has provided all that gives grace. He has provided it. Why? Because he does not want you 
to live in fear. He, he does not want you to walk in peril. God does not want you. It is so important, therefore, that you make the Lord your helper. I was interestingly reading the book of 2 Chronicles. And in the book of 2 Chronicles and the 33rd chapter and the 6th verse, the word of God begins to, to, to speak about a young man who became king very early in his life. He became king 12 years old. <laughs> it's amazing. You know how the monarchy could be. At 12 years old, that's a child. However, he grew to be 55 years old. But from, a, from very young, this man by the name of Manasseh, he, be, he began dabbling in the occult. You'll be amazed. Um, the kind of stories you hear about young people today as it, and, and their relationship with the occult. I have had parents come to me and their children learning already what it is to, to slice their skin at school so that their blood can run and offer them up as sacrifice. They have gone on the internet and they have acquainted themselves with the occult and, and they offer themselves to, to these principalities as a, as a, a result of being deceived and, 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 and being conned into thinking that they can have a, a higher sense of living, have a more greater authority in life, and, and the devil woos them into, into the darkness that they find themselves in, and eventually the result oftentimes, amen, results in, in suicide or traumatic problems for parents because these children go into mental disturbances or to the, to the worst sometimes they become very violent and, and problematic to deal with at home. Not just only children but people because of fear, people because uh, amen, of looking for security for their lives. They, they would take the journey into the occult so that they can seek to find some sort of security for themselves. This is so real as we have shared on last service how, amen, it is from the high places in society to the abased places in the, in the rural, amen, and, and troubled communities of our society. Because the devil, amen, the word of God says, he goes about. The devil is not idle with his business at all. The devil is very, very active with his business. The word of God tells us, Jesus speaking in John 10.10, 10, that he has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I want you Amen. Never to be naive because you somehow live in a, in a zone where you, you invite the presence of God through psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Uh, you invite the presence of God through the reading of the word of God. But in the midst of, 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 of your peace, I want you to know your, sometimes your relatives your neighbors, your friends, colleagues, people in your community, they are constantly in search for, for, for the serenity that, that they should have. And, but it's, it's, amen, it's troubled because the devil is out to destroy. The devil is out to, to wreak havoc with people's lives. Here it is, we 
we recognize this personality here by the name of Manasseh. I, watch what the scripture says about Manasseh. The word of God says in verse 6 of 2 Chronicles, and he caused his children to pass through the fire in the valley of the sons of Hinnon. Also he observed times, that's horoscope. Observe, observe, it couldn't be a more fitting word, horror. I don't know, amen. People, people, amen, hear the word horror, scope, and they're still checking the zodiac to see what it says concerning them. Observe again, horror, scope, amen. You don't want, you want to look into blessing scope. Somebody say, God send me blessing scope. Amen. I want to see good things all the time. I want to see good things all the time. Observer, uh, observers of times and use enchantments. Oh, um, here we see Manasseh encouraged people, amen, to, in, to call down of spirits, to call down forces. And I want you to know that these things are for real. The word of God tells us in e Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 12 that we wrestle, amen, we wrestle, amen, not against flesh and blood, Ephesians 6, 12, amen, 6, 12. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. In other words, there, there, there is that constant amen evil in the atmosphere and observe the word of god say we wrestle it's not that that it is inviting it is inviting you to come it is engaging you the the, the, the forces of wickedness engages us why because the devil, Jesus says, he goes about like a roaring lion. He, Peter makes it so clear, seeking those whom he may devour. He goes about, the, the enemy wants to take you out. The enemy wants to destroy you. Listen to me, as I said before, you cannot be naive. You cannot, hey amen, live with a simplistic mind in this day that we are living in. You have to be as the Apostle Paul encouraged the saints at Ephesus, amen, in Ephesus chapter 6 and verse 10. Be strong in the Lord. Amen. You have to be what? Be strong in the Lord. You must be strong in the Lord. God wants wants you to be strong in him. Say it with me. Ephesians 6 10. Amen. Say to me be strong in the Lord. Amen. And in the power of his might. Say it again. Be strong in the Lord. Let's lift up your hand and make it a prayer. Be strong in the Lord. You have to be. You got to be strong. You got to be strong in God. Because watch how this man who, who supposed to have grown up with his grandfathers, walking with God. His grandfathers, in fact, he came out from under the lineage of Hezekiah, who had destroyed, Hezekiah had destroyed necromancy in his time. Hezekiah had destroyed witches and warlocks. They were leading the people away from God. But here his grandson, Manasseh, is walking right back into it. Watch and observe according to 2 Chronicles and verse, a chapter 33 and verse 6. The word of God says, and he used enchantments and he used witchcraft and dealt with familiar spirit. And with wizards, he wrought much evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger. That man, amen, was involved in so much. Amen. You, you, you see how much, 
how much goods this man, amen, had gathered as it relates to getting deeper and deeper and deeper into the, into the spirits of darkness, you are, you are going to be amazed, amen, at the people that you, you work with. Amen. If you hear their stories, how deep and how deep and how deep they go into darkness. And amen, you wonder when you look at their background, how they got into this. But because people are in search for security, people are in search for prosperity, people are in search for a better life, they are not afraid Amen. To seek whatever they can seek in order to have it. But I am so glad. Amen. That they that put their trust in God. Amen. Can experience the favor of almighty God. You ask Jabez. Jabez. Amen. Was born into. Amen. Into sickness. He was born born into sorrow but oh my God he asked God to help him and the word of God says that God granted Jabez his request you know about Jabez you know how God amen blessed Jabez I want you to know the same God that blessed Jabez is the same God that is available to you today and you can call upon the name of the Lord and that same God can answer your prayer today. Come on and lift your hands to God and let him hear your prayer today and answer your prayer. The word of God goes on to give us some, some stories about Manasseh. In that Manasseh, after having done all this, the next verse says, he began to carve out gods, you know. God is already angry with him, and he 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 must have known the anger of God because you, you are going to feel the effects of God's judgment when God begins to turn against you. But in the midst of it, it's like some people they have gotten so hooked. Amen, that they, 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 they hook and sink up. Go on so deep down inside that they, they, don't, they, they prefer to live with it. Amen, than to fight and to get it out of them. They prefer to live with it. In, in so much that the word of God tells us that God decided that he was going to judge Manasseh. And, and, and the Lord did send to Manasseh judgment. Amen. In that, in verse 11, God said, I had enough of Manasseh's wickedness. And God stirred up the Assyrians. And the Assyrians came and took Manasseh. I want you to know that people who work wickedly, you do not worry about them. It is going to backfire. Oh, yes. It is going to backfire. Let them play with all the darkness and you would see the effects of the backfiring of what they would do. You know, oh, I feel, I feel, I, listen to me. Oh, as the old people they say, I felt all the paws raised on me just now. As I thought of, 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 of the devil's attack. You know, some months ago, I experienced a strange phenomenon at my home. Of course, in my kind of, of spiritual ministry, praying, amen, at the level I pray nationally. I would have some amazing, interesting encounters. I would share one with you I had some months ago. Some months ago, uh, amen, I, f I felt a strange, amen, presence in my house. Extremely strange presence. 
It reminded me, uh, uh, amen, of another time where I lived somewhere else where I heard my front door, which used to be a glass door, like it was smashed open in the wee hours of the morning and a thunderous noise, amen, like a man trampling in full speed but with a very heavy, amen, foot, amen, trampling through the corridor of my house and, and I heard the back door like if it was shattered, amen, and I, I amen, and I got, got up off my bed because the noise woke me up from the glass door, sh sound like it shattered. And then I came outside to watch my door to see if someone had pelt a boulder and shattered the door. Amen. But when I got out and watched the door, the front door was intact. I walked to the back door and the back door was intact. So I said to God, God, what is this that just happened? And God said, <laughs> God said, I can have heard God, and trust me on this, I can have heard God laughing. Because the word of God says that he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh at them in their derisions. So I want you to know that God laughs. Amen. He laughs. Amen. That's what the word of God said. And I could have heard God laughing and God said, Amen. Amen. They came, but when they come, there'll be too much angels inside of here. Amen. So they just, amen. They just barge in and barge out. Just bar couldn't stay. So this 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 situation I'm telling you about reminded me because I I hear this noise. So I, this this noise after I felt the present. So I went to you know to my bed again and back to sleep. But for some reason, I'm hearing a tumbling song of something behind my drapery. My drapery. Now, I, I have a very big bedroom. I, and this is not to show off, so don't tell people, Pastor, show you off about this bedroom. I'm just sharing it with you. I shouldn't even be telling you this. You know, but because I trust you and my friends, don't tell nobody else. Now, yeah, my bedroom is like 23 feet long, you know, by 22 feet wide. That's like a whole little apartment, 23 feet. So I have a whole long bedroom. So I have long windows. So, so plenty drapery on one side and plenty drapery on the next side. And I heard this noise like a big presence in the back of my Drapery. So I pulled the drapery. And I pulled the drapery. And I, and I, looking for something. I saw a little thing like a mutt. I said, my God. You mean to see this thing causing all this trouble in my house? Like a, about this size. About this size. I mean, it's causing all this noise in my back of my, 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 my bed head. So, I, so you see me, I don't like, it's just, it's just about this size, so I ain't taking no chances, that's thing or something. But I took, so I put the socks on my hand. <laughs> I don't want to touch this thing. Put the socks in my hand, and I snatch it. The thing is as light as a feather. But when I watch the creature, the creature looks extremely strange. I tell you, I feel that airy feeling again. Extremely changed, strange. Like a small human being. So I... Now, I, I don't want to mash it and kill it because I'm very concerned now. <laughs> what I'm doing... Now, you all are laughing. This is a serious... as a heart attack, ain't it? I'm extremely concerned. So I walk out to my porch. And I said, because daylight is out. And I take the thing that looked at first as a mutt. And I throw it, thinking, you know how mutters fall. 
you know, probably like two weeks, amen, a little feather thing. And then it would catch itself and go. And as I threw the thing out like this, a force left my hand. A force left my hand. I don't say a force. A push. That's what I'm talking about. Not a spirit thing. You know, not that kind of spirit thing. Like you feel something. A force left my hand and in the seconds turned into a bird. And flew at miles per hour getting out getting out getting out listen to me you talk about evil e you talk about evil amen I got that thing like I just give it a, a jump start and it just opened up and gone out to I know some of you not in that realm to understand and even believe and accept it, but you can ask God. We are wrestling against major principalities. But I'm, you know one of the things I, 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 I was so excited about is that it come in my house and gets trapped morning from them there and couldn't come out morning came hey amen come and he couldn't come out hey amen and I am the one who had to let him out you know and this is what Jesus said watch it in Luke Luke's Mark's gospel chapter 16 I want to show you something watch Mark gospel chapter 16 and verse 16 there is a word here in Mark 16 going over to verse 17. In the 17 verse we read, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Watch the next verse. They shall take up serpents. Now the word they shall take up serpents. There is one Greek word for all of those words. They shall afro is the, is the Greek word here. Like your afro here starts A-F-R-O. They shall afro. That Greek word means that you will be able to manhandle. Manhandle evil. That's what God showed me on that day. That I can take up evil, shall take up serpents. Man, handle it. You are a man, you don't have to be afraid of the devils when you are in Christ. God has given you the power as a man in Christ to manhandle evil. Amen. To manhandle evil. Somebody say manhandle evil. Say it again. Manhandle evil. They shall take up serpents. Amen. Manhandle it. God told me that day I give you power. Amen. To manhandle it. Amen. That you took it up and you chew it out of your house. You have the power. And that's what Afro means. To take up and to do whatever you want to do with it. I could have killed it, you know. Amen. I could have killed it, but mm -mm -mm, God didn't lead me to kill it. God, Amen, said to me, Amen, I show you just to manhandle it. Amen. Don't you ever feel the devil has more power than you as a child of God? You have more power than the devil as a child of God. God has given you the power. Come on to manhandle evil. Come on and stand on your feet and raise your hands and give God praise in this place right now in the name of Jesus Christ God has given you power to manhandle evil every work of the devil can be manhandled in the name of Jesus Christ every work of the devil can be manhandled 